Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kurt. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel. And today we're going to be discussing and talking about the uh, recent video that came out from... Belfagor, and it's called Virtus Asinaria Prayer. So this was, wasn't was actually that recent, it was 2022, but it was... Uh, I don't know why this has come up on my like recommendation list, but I was like, oh, it's this band I've never heard of. So yeah, 2022, re relatively recent still though. Uh, and so Belfagor is the devil associated with the seven deadly sins, apparently. Interesting. They're an Austrian black metal, black death metal band that were originally formed in 1991. Yeah, they released the debut in 1995. So a fairly, fairly, they've been around a block. So uh, in theory, so looking at that, you'd expect, right, this is going to be a good old song. Now, Austri Austrian black death metal is probably... Not a huge scene. Not a huge scene, and also not the one that's going to make me go, oh, that sounds interesting, I'm going to go check that one out. That's, that's for me, that is. But I was like, hell, you never know. Uh, now, if you're thinking we're going to be doing a reaction video where we're going to play you the video and go, ooh, that, ooh, no, we're not doing that. No. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we're not doing <laughs> any of that sort of stuff. What we have done is all three of us have gone away and we've actually watched this video in advance, so we've got our thoughts on it, and we're going to play you some of the clips that relate to what we think about. So, um... For me, I was like, look, I looked at this from like the first kind of like minute and a half, kind of that kind of the intro, how it builds in. I thought it was a really great visuals to this video. Um, it was simple, it was atmospheric. It reminded me a little bit musically as well of uh, the band Samael. Yeah, definitely. There was a little bit of an industrial element up there. Uh, and I love like the settings that they've used within the cinematography, the filters they've used. What was your thoughts on the kind of the intro and the start of this song? Um, well, I'll, I'll just go back to I'll start with, with my thoughts on Belfagor. It's, it's, yeah. As you said, they've been around for ages. And it's a name that I've always seen popping up in, in magazine adverts and, and reviews, you know, across the years. I've never really, I've never heard them before. And I've, what's put me off and, and pushed me away from the band is, did you see the logo? It's, no. it's very cartoon, very childlike. We've got like two, uh, okay. two, two inverted crosses incorporated in the work. It's all, it all looks a bit sort of, Hand drawn. I think it's probably the logo there from the very beginning. So that's kind of put me off. So we talk uh, about band names and, and what draws you to certain bands. It's the it's the logo that put me off. You know, I don't know. I just never really got never got into them. But yeah, I, I like the visuals of the video. Of the video. Um, it appears to be sort of like a an outdoor live show, doesn't it? With yeah. Um, so I like, I like like the different shots from from that and the actual setting. That's great. They have got the sort of you know, the, the sort of the black metal prop, there's a few inverted crosses and, and things dotted around and everything. Um, but, you know, as my initial listening and, and interaction with this band, I, I was surprised how, you know, it wasn't very hard hitting. It didn't, it didn't seem as aggressive as, no. as what the visuals of the band looked like and also their history and, and the logo and everything. You know, I was expecting a little bit more, something a bit more, you know, Heavier and harder. I mean, is this would you, is this what they've always been like? Or is, is this no more? Idea. Uh, have you got any awareness of their earlier stuff? No, I, no. I would have thought that this because I said for me to say this sounds like Sam Al, and I talk about like in the next section of the song going where it's got the there's almost this choir or gang chanting, which is almost like what you'd call the chorus, I guess. Uh, really solid delivery, simple riff. It almost made me think of Paradise Lost as well, like. Uh, yeah, uh, gothic. Yeah, yeah it's at the three minute mark or so, there's a this sort of slow doomy there. passage, isn't there? Yeah, and that, that kind of made me go, well, hang on, this this isn't what I was expecting for Aust Austrian flat death metal. Um, I was expecting something a lot more abrasive. Yeah, I was abrasive. pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I was actually, I actually enjoyed listening to this compared to what I was expecting. I went into this going, this is going to be whatever, however many really minutes this song is, of me getting through this and just analysing it from a pure musical point of view rather than actually something I'm going to enjoy. But I actually did really enjoy it. So, do you know anything about the background behind this one, Kurt? Yeah, I reviewed the 2022. What a fucking surprise. Called the Devils. And I won it. <laughs> Six out of ten. Eight Six out of ten. Oh, eight. He gave it a eight. Oh, yeah, it's more I, I am going to have to correct you. The term is blackened death metal. Right, when, okay. When there's a combination of the two. Uh, I can pick up on what you're saying, Andy. You know, you were expecting it to be heavier. To yeah. me, this is, I would say this is still more black metal. And the reason is, whenever you ask the question, what's the difference between black metal and death metal, the latter, sorry, the former, black metal, certainly emphasizes atmosphere and heroism. And you do not get that in death metal. Listen to the guitar work in this. It's, it's basically the same tremolo riff throughout. It's played at a mid tempo. 
and you've got like a chugging bass guitar that's doing the low end. And it's, it's almost the same beat, isn't it, all the way yeah. through. Some things that did stand out for me, um, you said there, you're right, there was like this gothic backing vocal supporting the harsh vocals in the mid, mid part of this, and that worked really well because it helped to accentuate what he was saying in his harsh voice. But yeah, grandiosity is so important in this music though. One thing I do want to pick out, there is um, one tempo change here, isn't it? Four minutes and 32 seconds. And we go straight into these military drum snares. And that, that's quite creative, because how many bands would just do a cymbal choke there? It's like, look, we're ready to do a tempo yeah. change. And I, I like how they marched into that. And um, yeah, it, it doesn't really do much this song, does it? But to me, it, kept, it was captivating, it kept my attention. And guess which band I'm going to mention? From Switzerland. You're right, so now, another band called Celtic Brass are clearly an influence on this. And let me just tell you why. Because after I watched this video on YouTube, guess who came up next? Celtic Brass. <laughs> I am going to talk about that marching bit because I, I picked up, I'm sure you did that big time, the marching pedestrian. Yeah. But I felt more like an intro to a, you know, like how they have like intro tracks to a live performance and then the band kicks in the song. So you know, like how they want, like, the band's about to play and they, they fade out all the standard commercial tracks and then suddenly the, the, the lights all go down and then that would come in and then it would build, build up and then they'd launch into a song. Yeah. That's what it felt like. It didn't feel like an end into a song, it felt like... So I don't know if this then quite segues solid, into another track. Quite a solid way to end the song, mm. isn't it, actually? Yeah. I also like that point from about sort of like five, 2.55 onwards up to like the four minute mark. It, it was sh almost shot like a 1970s horror movie with yeah. a filter. So they've got this kind of a greenish tinge to the filter which kind of makes me feel like that way. There was lots of satanic imagery in the filter, or in the, in the shots, but what was weird was I looked at it, I didn't look at it like, oh, this is an evil video. Because mm. of the fact that it's shot like a 70s thing, I'm like, it doesn't feel evil this way, but obviously they're like, ah, oh, Satan, and uh, inverted the crosses, the and I'm like... Well, there's an element of eroticism, that's what I've yeah. noted down, with the sort of, you know, the sort of, um, well, I'll put blood transfer, but basically the, 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 I don't know if it was male, but the sort of, the male-ish, Lizard tongue. Yeah, <laughs> there's a character yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that sort of basically drips blood into the mouth of, a, of, the, of the woman lying prone on the floor. So there's, yeah. there's that sort of vampiric, gothic eroticism that is, is sort of quite common within black metal and you know those mm. sort of bands. So I did like that. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, towards the end, as well, there was a, like a keyboard sound that almost, sorry, Guitars, there's a guitar tone that sounded almost like it was like generated on the keyboards. Yeah, that, that's the whole point. Atmosphere, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, there was a Quite lot of atmosphere to that. And they, they didn't, there was nothing flamboyant in the guitar playing. But to use your term, it served the song well. It was really yeah. all about that muscular drum beat, which was almost like a Queen We Were Rocky type beat, is it? But just a bit of that. Like... See, the thing is, is it, purely on the basis of this song, it's a band that I could enjoy listening to. Mm. Um, but if you call it Austrian blackened death metal, I'm like straight away I'm going to go. No, nah, this is not going to be for me because this doesn't sit in that category for me. It's not, as we've said, abrasive or anywhere near aggressive enough to fall into those categories for me. But it's yeah. got. But then Samael, it's another band that I am a Quite huge right. fan of yeah. that would fall in there. But they, I class them. I, they've got elements industrial of that, but they're metal, more industrial they? black yeah. metal. But. It, it's, it's, it's really weird there's certain bands that just kind of are able to break out the standardised mould. I think if you like this, you'll like the new album from 1349. Remember, we reviewed okay. the lead single. It's got a similar guitar tone yeah, as we well did, and crunch we? yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so what did uh, you think at home about the video? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching today and please do like, share and subscribe. We'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.